All right, so welcome back to another driveway. We've got the old hauler back here, and I'm testing out some couple ideas. You can see I got this one all painted up, but I got a interesting idea before I painted up the other one that we need to test out to see if it works. And it involves this thing right here. So, that's what we're going to play around with today. Let's go see what we can figure out here. Alright, so what we have here is a pretty hefty pneumatic piston. Something I picked up for relatively cheap on the old Amazon. So it's a, I think it's like a 2.2 inch piston that can handle up to 145 pounds. So take your 2.2, do your whole pyrator, and this thing comes out to somewhere around the 400 pounds of effort that it can throw down on full PSI. So, should have some pretty good heft. We can adjust how quickly things go up and down just by the size of hose, or we can even put like a valve on there to turn down the uh, gate a little bit. But, we are going to start there make ourselves a bracket to go up onto the ramps and then another section off the bottom here where the screws are that will attach to the bottom of the bumper and hopefully if my additions and calculations are correct everything should actually work and we would have an air actuated ramp lift system so, most likely I'll need two of these, one for each ramp, but at the price that these things are, that's not too expensive. All right, so on the ramp, I came up three rungs. This is approximately, I don't know, what was it? 21 in, whatever. It doesn't really matter. All that it is is I calculated from here down to the bumper and when the ramp is dropped that we have about a 10 inch travel and I've got a 12 inch travel uh, piston here. So what that basically means is we got just barely what we need. So we need to come in at right about there and get ourselves a kind of a pretty decent bracket to go on here. So we're gonna need a good couple inches. Time to pull out the CAD drawing here and kind of see what we can figure out. All right, we got the first one laid out. Now we need to start cutting. And of course, we need some stylish eyeglasses to do so.
All right, so I got my RAM extension welded on. Got a nice eyelid in there so I can shove a pin through it. So the last step is going to be getting the bracket pieces that hooks on down at this eyelet and hooks to the bumper. And then we can give this thing a try and see if all this work is actually worth something. All right, so ended up reworking some brackets here, hopefully to get it to a much better spot. But I guess right now it's about time to try it out, see what it does. All right, so I don't think that's too bad for a day's work. Moves pretty nice and smooth. So, I think that's a success. It's like I kind of like to have a one of those coil springs on the other side. But it might be just as cheap to put another ram on. So, now that the dog's out, let's just shut this place up for the day. So, thanks again for stopping by and watching. And hopefully, we'll see you again later.